It's always a joy to be here. For your warmth, for the love, for the beliefs you have, and especially being the God's own country, you keep God away from politics. So when Ranjit called me out of the blue and said, uh, Prakash, I want you to be here, I did ask him, do you really want to be here? I thought he'll say try, but he said yes, and I was waiting for it. It just took to shift one shooting, and I'm fine with that. I've been here on this International Film Festival before, quite a few times, and I'm here again. Thank you, the greats and wonderful talents celebrating World Cinema to be here, and to our own talents. For me, this festival means a lot in the context of what we are going through in our country. In a country where we are, people are divided between narratives, confused, pulled here and there. I'm so proud of you all, of your government, of your great thinkers, writers, directors, to continue to have a festival like this which is not tainted with ideologies. Because it is so important, because one of such festivals when I was a young guy, which chiseled me, which exposed me to a different horizons, and you taught me to perceive. And I'm sure this festival, it's not just an award festival where people are judged best films and best directors, but also gives such fair chance for the youngsters and the people of a country, citizens of this country, to be able to see different perceptions, different dimensions of world cinema. And it's a joy to be one among this wonderful tribe of cinema here. And we need to be careful with these narratives because we know what sort of narratives. Just for an example, the attack on the parliament the other day. We are seeing narratives building around us on those six youngsters who wanted to protest. We have a group of journalists who are fighting like jokers with that bomb outside that who has to do the TRP? A narrative which is being told. We have an opposition party blaming the ruling party that they are terrorists. We have the ruling party saying that this opposition party is caught with a photograph of another youngster. There is a narrative building built, what is the security of the parliament? But will there also be a narrative which will discuss and have a dialogue that what made these youngsters do this? Will we also have a narrative that how desperate it is to be unemployed? How desperate and how frustrating it is to not get answers on money. It's for us. With these narratives around being battered and on TRPs, I feel it's so beautiful to see among, be among you all, to be here, to discuss, to see, and to listen. Thank you so much. Thank you again for this wonderful warmth you have given to us and to such festivals. Thank you, Ranjit, for inviting me. Thank you, all filmmakers who have participated here. Love you, Kerala. Thank you. Now, I request Sri Ranjit, Chairman, Shalchitra Academy, to present a token of appreciation to the Chief Guest, our beloved actor, Sri Prakash Raj.
so much, sir. We are extremely honored to have you here. During the festival's country focus section, the spotlight was on Cuban films, presenting a vivid display of the country's vibrant culture and cinematic excellence. We have had the privilege of hosting two remarkable Cuban filmmakers and a distinguished producer, enriching our event with their creative vision and storytelling. Now it's an honor to introduce a key figure who represents the essence of Cuban diplomacy in India. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to His Excellency, Mr. Alejandro Simancas Marin, the esteemed Cuban ambassador to India. We eagerly await your insights and thoughts as you address the gathering. So, Namaskar, everybody. They are movie makers, artists, old friends. It's a real honor, a real pleasure for me to be here and to be here in Kerala once again. Cuba and Kerala are united by very deep ties of friendship, solidarity, cooperation, and dialogue. And participating today here today is another step of our collaboration, of our friendship, of the feeling of solidarity that we share. We have been